Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we will be doing a video about my son's hair routine. As you can see, his hair been braided for a little while. It's a little frizzy and it needs to be done. So first, um, I will be taking out his braids as you can see. I'll just show you the process a little bit and then uh, we'll go ahead and to get it washed. Let me just let you guys know that I am not a professional. I just do my son here the way that I know how to do here. Um, so if there's things that you guys do that I'm not doing or there's things that I am doing that you're not doing, just know that I am not a professional. This is just how I do my son's hair. In case you guys were wondering, I am using what um, I call a rat tail comb, but it has the metal piece at the end, which helps me get into his braids because I'm not always able to do it with my fingers, especially towards the end. Um, and then once I get towards the bigger part of the braid, I start to use my fingers. You can find this type of comb at your local beauty supply store. That's where I got mine. I'm not sure if they have them at Walmart or Target, but you can always check. Here I'm just showing you guys his hair all taken out, how thick it is and you can see how dirty it is and it needs to be done so that's what we're doing now. something being that his braids are kept in a little bit longer than we normally do um his hair is really tangled or whatever so i want something to try to help me um make the detangling process easier so i have this shampoo it's the aussie miracle moist it's supposed to soften the hair with avocado and jojoba oil um and then i got the conditioner for that also i might not use this or i might use it as a leave-in i'm not sure but then I also have a deep conditioner, which I'll probably end up using because um, I feel like he needs that more than anything. So yeah, so I'll wash his hair and I'll deep condition it. I'll try to comb it out a little bit as much as I can. I'll put a cap on it and he'll sit with that for maybe five or 10 minutes and then I'll come rinse it out and then we'll blow dry and start the whole braiding process. So I like to test the water a little bit just to make sure it's not too hot or too cold for his head. I have him touch it also um, just to make sure the water is the right temperature. And then, and as you know, you know, the water, when it touches your head, it's actually, it actually feels a little bit different than it does on your hand. So once his head is in the water, I ask him, is it too hot or is it too cold? And I adjust it then. So I just put, you know, I just wash his hair regularly like you normally wash hair. Sometimes he have little pieces hanging from his hair so I like to pull those off. Now I do massage his scalp gently with the tips of my fingers. I do not scratch his hair with my nails. I do massage and, and try to get all the dirt and everything out of his scalp and his hair with the tips of my fingers. Here I'm going in with the deep conditioner instead of the actual conditioner and um, I'm just going to work that through his hair really good and I'm using a generous amount um, because I think he needs it and then I'm going to cap him and that'll be it until we start to detangle. Okay, so now we're sitting for the detangling process. Um, I do like to section his hair off into 
different sections to make it easier to detangle. I also place a cap over the sections that I'm not working on yet so that they can stay wet because if it's here dry, then it makes it a lot harder. Now he is a little tender headed and this situation can get a little dramatic at times, but I promise you that I am not hurting him. I'm going as gentle as I can, but it's in his nature to be a little dramatic. So in each section before I start to comb, I'm going in with this hair butter, Bella Curls Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and I'm going in with it as a leave-in conditioner to help soften his hair as well and make it a little bit more manageable. I am using a wide tooth detangling comb to um, work through his hair section by section. each section and put it in a big twist um, but to try to make this process a little bit faster I combed out the back section and blow dried it immediately um, it's easier for me easier for him to take breaks in between each comb out detangling again and blow dry detangling and blow dry and then I'll come back and show you guys the end result product um, his hair is really long still thick um, he probably need his ends clip but I don't do all of that I'll take him to the salon to have that done because I don't want to mess up his hair and do the wrong thing but yeah here it is all blow dried out and now we're gonna start braiding as you can see I took maybe a few days to actually get to the braiding process but here I am and just want to let you guys know again I am not a professional braider I do not do this on the regular my parts are not as straight as they should be and I don't stress it um so don't come for me please do not come for me I do my best and his hair come out great all the time but as you can see here I am um part of his hair I'm just gonna do a couple of braids just going straight to the back and um, yeah so I'm not gonna show you exactly how to braid because again I'm not a professional there are plenty tutorials here on YouTube that will show you guys exactly how to braid I am not gonna teach you guys how to do that um, but you can just see kind of the process and um, yeah so just 
You'll see me do it and then I'll come back when I'm done. put his do-rag on after this so his edges can lay flat he's always had hair since he was a baby he's never had a haircut uh, the most that we do is usually get him a shape up but you know with the times now he probably won't be having a shape up anytime soon so yeah here it is thank you guys again so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and come back for some more thank you again Love you guys. Peace.